Hey guys, Drew here from GeoArm Security. Once again, this time I am going to be showing you how to program in a wireless 5828 Honeywell fixed English keypad into the brand new Honeywell L7000 security system. All right, first things first now. Uh, usually what you want to do is you want to remove the back plate. You should see that there's little tabs here that are pointed up. You want to go ahead and push down. That'll take this back plate off. All right, now you open this little plate up here. That's where you put the batteries that come with this uh, keypad. Go ahead and put that back back on. You can slide that mounting plate right back into place by getting it in the grooves and then pushing up. All right, as you can see, that's the keypad. You're going to flip that thing down. You'll see your numbers there. What you're going to do in order to get this thing programmed is you're going to press and hold one and three together. You're going to get dashes and zeros eventually on the screen. There are the dashes and zeros. Now, first things first, you want to set your house ID code. In this case, I'm going to set it to 12. So you're going to press 1, which is the menu option number for the house ID code. As you can see, it's already set to 13. Uh, I'm going to set it to 12. Then you're going to press star, and that acknowledges it. Now, we're going to press 2. That is how you're going to select what system type you're going to be using. In this case, it is a Lynx. So you're going to press 2 and then star to acknowledge. Now, we're going to press 3, which is your exit delay. Generally, the exit delay is about 60 seconds. So you want to set that to, I believe, uh, 4, which will give you 60 seconds because it's in 15-second uh, increments. And then you're going to press star to acknowledge that. Then you are going to go into uh, number 5. You're going to skip number 4 over because that's only for the 5828V that enables the voice uh, commands. So we're going to press 5. And then we are going to press 2 to set that for the newer Lynx controls. Uh, you're going to press star. Then you're going to press 6. Now 6 is, is a cool field because you can set that for a panic key or you can set it for single button arming. We generally set it to panic keys, so we're going to press 0 and then star. And then you're going to press star once again to acknowledge. Now, as you can see, that thing says it's not ready. Um, just so you know, the panic keys are as such. Uh, it goes fire, which is the top key, burglary, which is the second key, and medical, which is the third key. The bottom key is not used. That is a function key for uh, programming from Honeywell. Um, we're going to go ahead and close this thing up. This thing is ready to be activated with the panel. So what we're going to do now, we're going to go into programming on the L7000. You're going to press on security. Then you're going to press more. You're going to go into tools, 41112, which is the default installer code. You're going to go into programming. You're going to go into system type. You're going to see a little field that says RF house code. Now, I set the keypad to 12 for the house ID, which is what we're going to set it to here. So 12. I'm going to click done and then you're going to click save. That is going to enable this keypad over here. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back to our keypad and to test this we're going to press and hold the star button to turn it back on. Now as you can see the not ready is gone. Check bat AC is on. Now we're going to go ahead and do a quick disarm on this keypad so that way we know that it works. One, two, three, four, off. As you can hear, it did disarm the system, so this thing is now working. Um, that was how to program and set up your 5828 Honeywell wireless fixed English keypad into the L7000 panel from Honeywell. My name is Drew Davis. Any questions that you may have, concerns, comments, anything, feel free to give us a call, one 877 4 Any comments you may have on this video, feel free to leave them below. Uh, once again, my name is Drew Davis, uh, GeoArm Security. Thanks a lot, guys.